Hey everyone, so on my For You page the other day on TikTok, I came across a Friday Night Funkin' one where it had a mod attached to it. And I thought, oh wow, you know, people are making mods for this, this is great. I love mods for games. I think that's one of the greatest things you could do for, for a game that's out, uh, is to create mods for it. So I wanted to see if there was any hard songs out there that's finally been created. And uh, your boy did a quick uh, YouTube search and my wish was answered and I found a compilation video done by fun Tom fun time Robbie I'll put a link in the description below um, they did a compilation video of hard mods for uh, Friday Friday Night Funkin that's currently out now and uh, in their video they had a bot do it to kind of show off the the song entirely but in my case uh, it is not a bot I'm actually playing uh, these songs and uh, this was streamed on, on Twitch uh, last Friday, April 9th. So keep in mind, when you check out this gameplay, I have not seen the step file beforehand, and I haven't heard the song or anything like that. So I'm going in completely blind, and I completely slight read it. The other thing is, uh, my control scheme is DFJK. I play spread. Some people play index. I don't. I play spread, and uh, what I use is my index fingers are on F and J, and my middle fingers are on uh, D and K. So. There's some insight there as to how, how I'm playing as far as controls are concerned. So if you want to go ahead and skip ahead to the gameplay, I have the timestamps down below, but I wanted to do a quick history le lesson first, especially for those that are completely new to the whole entire rhythm game scene. Uh, I'm seeing a ton of views going on for Friday Night Funkin', and I'm really happy about it, to be honest, because rhythm games, I feel, don't get as much... They, they get a lot of love within the community, but uh, I would really love to see rhythm games just blow up again because uh, they're so much fun. And it's unfortunate with the issues going on with Twitch and DMCA and also uh, YouTube as well. Uh, it's just a really unfortunate situation. So I really hope that this kind of blows up and more people get involved and, you know, make their own songs and, and create more uh, Friday Night Funkin' related stuff or uh, Stepmania stuff and Osu and all that kind of stuff. I, I really hope that it, you know, really blows up because I, I really, really enjoy uh, rhythm games and it makes me happy that uh, people are, are seem seem to be enjoying the whole Friday Night Funkin' thing. Um, but the one the one thing I really wanted to bring up was uh, whoever is developing Friday Night Funkin, please uh, be careful because uh, especially with monetizing it and stuff, um, look into the whole in the groove si situation. It was a DDR clone uh, a while back, but it was monetized and it had its own uh, songs that they made and, and all that kind of stuff and added a new mode with mines and stuff. Um, but unfortunately, it went through a lawsuit with with Konami. So please be careful, and also uh, please look into Semini as well. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure of the background. I haven't really looked into it. Um, but if we can, if we are able to get Stepmania like feel to where it feels really good to play, and also uh, have the, you know, the two sided track kind of like Beat Mania 2DX, 2DX, where you know you actually play and if you hit the notes right you know the person you know makes this the sound and stuff uh if we can have a combination of that that'll be absolutely fantastic um because i've been playing step mania for a really long time i was really into it about almost 20 years ago and i played a lot of the keyboard mega packs um there was step mania online way back in the day i'm not sure if it's a thing anymore um i know there's something called eternal online uh now but uh, the last time I looked into it, it was just ridiculously like the, the, the really hard stuff was just ridiculously hard and I didn't really find it really fun anymore. It became more of um, it, became, it became less about fun and more about how how crazy, you know, you can get with the, with the step files. And uh, I just really enjoy, you know, really good music and, you know, really fun step files to play um, without having to, you know, develop carpal tunnel in in like two minutes, you know what I mean? Also, I'm putting the fix to this problem in this video because if it happens to blow up, I want people to be aware of it as well. So this way when people are streaming or looking to record Friday Night Funkin' content, they're aware of this issue and they don't get off put by this problem. What the issue is, is if you are playing any game, regardless what the game is, in borderless windowed or windowed mode, and you have multiple monitors, and you put OBS Studio in the monitor with the lowest refresh rate, you're going to have weird stuttering issues. To fix it, you must either A, put OBS Studio in the monitor that has the highest refresh rate, 
or B, just play the game in full screen mode. And you're gonna hear me make a comment about that in, in the gameplay where I said, I have to put the game into full screen because it's, it's a little bit stuttery. Um, because I have put, I, I have OBS Studio normally in my 60 hertz monitor and I did a test and I moved it over to the 120 hertz monitor and it fixed it a little bit, but it still felt a little weird. Then I moved it to the main monitor and it, and it fixed it. Um, but then I kind of have it in the background, it's getting a little distracting. So I said, you know what, let me just put it in, back into the 60 hertz monitor and then I put the game in full screen and then th there was just no more issue. I enjoy playing rhythm games in, in window mode because it's just like a visual uh, overwhelming thing to just have a huge on, on the monitor. Um, so that's why I normally play rhythm games in window mode. And this issue is, you could see it the most the most in rhythm games because you just see the notes kind of staggering up instead of smoothly going up to uh, the, the timing area. So um, so you'll experience it with Friday Night Funkin', you'll experience it with Step Mania. Um, you don't really notice it in other games because you know you don't really have that tight timing to really deal with. So please be aware, that's the fix for it. And without further ado, let's finally get into the gameplay. Okay. Okay, here we go. And obviously we're gonna do it on hard. So let's go right into it. Oh, they added a whole brand new thing here. That's... Wow. Okay. Wow, this is really cool. Who? Beep boop. Oh, you two. Will both of you kindly leave me alone? I don't want anyone knowing I'm here. Bip boop beep. Listen, I ain't looking for trouble tonight. Just leave and all will be cool. Beepo bop ski boop. Three, two, one. Oh shit, are we, are we going right into it? This is really cool that they made like an extra thing to this. Like I, I, I feel like this is become this is gonna become like extremely big because music games haven't really been in the scene for a while now, unfortunately. Is this, did I put on hard? Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. I feel like if Step Mania could have introduced something like this, like custom backgrounds and like the Beat Mania 2DX style of like when you press a button, uh, it makes the character like make that noise, that, that beep beep noise. Um, it'll be really cool. I don't know if you could do Beat Mania 2DX style stuff on Step Mania. The music, the music is pretty cool. Okay. All right, so that was really easy. I hope I put it on hard mode because I'm. I, I wish it would say like somewhere that it's on hard. I see how it is. Rep bobbity boop. You're really pushing my limits, dude. Bip, bip, wait, bip bep scoo de boop. Well, how about you go die in a ditch instead? Jesus Christ. Be poopy scoop. Don't make me do this. Three, two, one, go. I'm literally fucking with a dude that has a, like a, a bomb as a skull. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, how's the uh, the audio levels? I'm gonna check in. For me, it's it's fine, but I'm playing on speakers, so. So far, okay, cool. Jacks are when uh, you re repeat the same arrow like back to back, but really fast. It's like a double, like double, like up arrow, double down arrow. And to be honest, like I actually struggled a lot with those, like way back in the day. There's some like there was some uh, step mini file creators that would put them constantly, and they were fucking rough. The speed of these is honestly not that bad. Oh, he's, he's big mad now. He is fucking big mad. Enough. They've taken all I ever had. I've been doomed into an endless cycle of running and hiding from things I cannot control. Curse you. Curse you and the filth that brought you into this world. Bro, why are you so mad? Babu Bebo. Oh, sh. Okay, hold on. Speaking of Jax... Holy shit. 
All right. Well, that was the, the witty mod. <laughs> I did do it on hard, right? Okay, that wasn't hard. All right. Honestly, it wasn't that bad at all. So I, I had a feeling that I was going to start getting into like, like really jack heavy, heavy stuff on the other songs. And I was hoping that I wasn't going to, and it did. But jacks, jacks have always killed me really bad. I can't stand them. But that was a lot of fun, though. What's really strange is um, the way that they're doing these mods, they're packaging the entire like EXE file with it. Um, I haven't really looked into what or how they do the mods yet, but it seems really strange that they're uh, doing or including the whole entire software every single time. It's, it's, it's really, really weird. You shouldn't need to do that. Come on. There we go. Also, I'm gonna need to full screen this because I was getting lag on uh, on the witty one, and it was kind of fucking me up a bit. So I, I have to go full screen, which I don't want to do. I I rather play in window because now the arrows are so fucking massive. But I need to get rid of the, the weird lag. Oh, it saved it. Nice. DFJK. Okay, well that was easy. Three, two, one, go. Oh shit. Fuck. That's my bad. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, well. I forgot to click transition on OBS Studio and it kind of fucked me. So you didn't see the whole screen.
But I don't understand it. The left side is getting like quads and shit, but I'm not seeing that on my side. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Did the game freeze? Wait, I'm I'm confused. Was that intentional? It froze again. Yeah, it's been a long while, dude. Um, I don't understand what's happening. Let me let me change it back to window mode. All right. I'm I'm confused because I don't think. Wait, now I have to get the fucking mic. So in DDR, you're able to add uh, uh, different DPM changes, but the last mod and uh, the, the main game didn't have any BPM change mid-song. It's almost like this does. And if that's the case, um, am I supposed to just guess? At the end? I don't know. And it's just, it, it's extremely weird. The, the the left side is way harder than what I'm doing right now. Like, why isn't it not giving me the, the boss and shit? I got a full combo right now. It's crazy. Here we go. Oh, it is a BPM change. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it was a it was a BPM change. You do not kill clown. Clown kills you. To be continued. Wait, is that it? Wait, that was it. Okay. Alright, well. We did do it on hard. Yeah, so what was happening there was it did a freeze there. So it went from the normal BPM to zero BPM and then just instantly took off. But for some reason, it just killed me instantly. And maybe it was because of the, the freeze arrow, arrow that was there. I, I guess it was intentional. I don't know. That was so weird. The only way I figured it out is because I, I know that BPM changes exist. And I figured, okay, if it is a BPM change, if I time it musically to the arrow that's coming next, I should be able to bypass it. And that's what happened. Actually, really good. I'm trash at this game, no cap. 
I've been playing this kind of stuff for a long time, so... So that's uh, the tricky mod. Kind of blowing through these really quick. Say hi to YouTube, by the way. <laughs> hi, YouTube. My stream's very late because I'm on mobile right now, but that's a thing. Yeah, mobile Twitch is kind of weird. All right, so this one is Zardy Full Hardy. Got what it takes. I can play on full screen now. And I'm not going to have any lag. Darn brats trespassing with their damn noise cannons. But you know it's dangerous to wander in the dark. But if you want the show, I'll give you a show. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this one's in my wheelhouse. So I'm not good at jacks, but I'm good at streams. Left side looks fucking nasty, dude. Bruh, this song is fucking awesome, bro. All right, so that was the uh, the Zardy mod. <laughs> By the way, I want to remind you, I'm sight reading this. This is my first time seeing it. So I have not seen these at all. I'm just fucking going through them. So press spacebar with the beat. Oh, wow. All right, so let me turn this up a little bit.
nice. Okay, so I guess this mod actually has uh, calibration. That's cool. Very important. All right, so it's two different tracks. Oh, it's Undertale. Or well, it looks like Undertale. Beep boop. Oh, I see. I will tell you a little secret. At some point, I considered becoming a singer. Boop beep. You really think so? Okay, then. Here I go. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Uh, I don't like that they changed the no colors, but it is what it is. We'll deal with it. Did you see the left side? It had like runs, like back to back. Oh, oh, please give me that. Please, please give that to me. Yes, let's go! It is Undertale? Wait, is the song actually from Undertale? I haven't played Undertale, so I, I actually don't know. See, I, again, it did it where uh, the left side was harder. It's like an Undertale fan animation. Oh, okay. Student. <laughs> Everyone is talking a lot. Oh, beep boop scaba doop. They're going to forget you. Beep. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely Undertale. They're going to replace you. Give up. All right, so I guess I'm playing against Sans now. Is this gonna be like Megalovania? Oh, please, please give me, please give me a nice fast stream, baby. Come on. With tons of runs and shit. Come on, baby. I feel it. I feel it. Fast electronic music. Come on. You have to. You have to do it. Yes. 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 Give me what's on the left side. Yes, please. Okay, yes. Oh shit. Okay, all right. You were saving it for the for the end. You're still not powerful enough though. 
still beating, beating your ass. No, don't give me the jacks, please. Why does it keep panning from the right to the left? From the left to the right. And then from the right to the left. And then the left to the right. Oh. Alright. Gallops and triplets, nice. Are you gonna give me some crazy shit? I feel like it's coming. I feel it's coming. Huh? Dude, those jacks from the left side look nuts. I guess that's it. Yeah, that was pretty fun. So some outro thoughts uh, and overall thoughts about this whole experience. Uh, I'm really excited to see uh, more mods come out. Um, modding communities are just always amazing when it comes to um, custom content and, and whatever. It always keeps the game fresh and people always come up with some crazy ideas. So I'm really excited to see that stuff uh, come down the pipeline. Um, but I wanted to talk about a few of the issues that I had uh, that I noticed while editing and also um, uh, with, with, with the gameplay as well. Um, for the reason why I didn't include the Ronald McDonald one is because I didn't even get really a chance to play it. I tried adding it to the F the original 60 FPS version and it worked, but it felt really, really awful to play. Um, especially after, you know, playing on the 120 FPS version, uh, the whole time. So I, I did try to move it over to the 120 FPS, but it just wouldn't take it for some reason. It just kept playing the old uh, track instead. So there's some weird, there's some weird stuff going on with that, where it's kind of like there's some cross contamination thing that I'm not really aware of. So again, I haven't really looked into it. Um, I just wanted to, you know, bring it up and making it aware. Um, and then with the the tricky mod or the the clown mod, I thought it was a BPM change, but it actually wasn't. The game is actually completely freezing at that point, and I'm not sure why, but I think it has to deal with the the custom note skin that's there. I don't know why it's having a having a fit about it. Um, but if you look at the screenshot here, you'll see like th this is what what it actually is supposed to look like, and it's not supposed to freeze at all. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I just zipped unzipped the file or extracted it and uh opened up the xc so i'm not sure what's going on with that um i have noticed uh loading time freezes and, and long load times between songs as well which you can see with the the x mod or the the undertale looking mod as well um like the weird transition to you know to to sans it just like just popped in out of nowhere it's just really weird um so with all those issues going on and i noticed that adding mods seemed to be a very weird process I want to stress something, and uh, this is from a coding experience thing. Try not to reinvent the wheel. There's there's Step Mania already out there. It can do custom mods already. It can do uh, full skin change. It could do uh, note skin changes. You can add uh, note note things uh, or step files pretty easily. It's it has all these different options to change your bindings and all that stuff. All that stuff is ready to go. So if you're looking to um, make more mods and stuff. The only thing that Step Mania really is missing, I, from what I remember, is being able to bind a separate audio track to, uh, to the, the key presses. So when you press a button, uh, if you press it correctly, then you actually hear you know the, the music play through. So there was, way back in the day, um, progress being made for Beat Media 2DX uh, files to be generated. Um, 
I don't know what the progress is on that, but if you're looking to constantly work on uh, Friday Night Funkin', please look into Step Mania as as a as a base game engine instead of whatever it is that you uh, you guys are using. Um, I know it's fun to you know work on 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 projects and and learn as you go and all that kind of stuff, and it's really great and uh, it's really appreciated and it's really cool. But please, the roadmap is already there, <laughs> ready to go for you. You have a reference. Please just take a look into State Media and how they're doing things. And maybe, you know, both of these dev teams can come together and come out with something really great. So because what I'm thinking right now is how we had it way back in the day where we had Step Media online. We got into a room together with like five, six people playing the same step files. So it'll be really cool to see uh, Friday Night Funkin' online. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for checking out the video. So I'll see everyone next time.